I did think that Helen Ord was an innocent party up until tonight um, when somebody told me that she was in fact connected to Clark Tribe. Um, I asked to see proof of this and the person sent me proof. So where I originally thought that this Helen Ord was just another victim of catfish and trolling, um, it turns out that actually she is part of Clark Tribe's little ring along with this Cookie Greenwoods um, and several other actors I could mention that have taken Clark Tribe and Aaron Twin and Stacey Fordham's side. Um, but to be honest, the list is actually too long. Um, there's a lot of people that back the wrong horse and I'm putting it all out there. This is a group of bully people uh, that think they're still at school. This lady, Helen Ald, um, at the time she was being quite aggressive towards John Silver. Um, to be honest, I just thought she was another troll that everybody was dealing with. There was a lot of people on fake accounts and stuff at the time, so I didn't take much notice to her. Uh, but since the NAB Speed hate page went out, I realised that this Helen Ald had quite a lot to do with it. Then I noticed that she was, in fact, a part of the Firm Fellow group that used Dave Courtney as a mascot. Um, I think what happened was when my name got dropped in as a troll through Stu Armstrong, um, she thought the same as me. She thought that I was trolling her. She believed everything that was said about me. Um, obviously, we're not connected, so she's not seeing my videos. Um, but there was a lot of people that this happened to. Uh, these men literally just went around setting up fake accounts and going out and writing nasty stuff on people's walls and their social media and their IMDb pages. Um, and my IMDb page, let me forget, don't forget that. I've had quite a few nasty comments myself to deal with. Um, but yeah, people, they actually believe that it was me because there were six men saying the same thing. Um, people haven't realised until now that these are actually a group of people connected. Um, Helen Old did not even take the time to contact me and ask me who I was or what was going on or what I knew about the situation. Um, she just added to the group of bully women um, that are part of the UK, BK and the firm fellas and they were just as vile as the men. So guys, over the last six years I've been piecing together who the people are that have been catfishing, trolling and bullying me online. I couldn't understand why there were thousands of people from different groups that were hating on me so much. Um, so I'd never met these people. Now it makes sense. So here we have Stacey Fordham, the guy that assaulted me, uh, his best friend Aaron. They were both actors on my film, Refid. Um, You've got Chris Smith, who we only met once. He came on as an assistant DOP. Um, he went on then to back my attacker and his best friend. Um, they went around the internet telling people that I was a liar. And then they went on to try and steal my film. Here we have Clark Tribe, who was also an actor on the film Refid. He was in the first Refid. He had never met Aaron, Stacey or Chris at all during the filming of Refid. Um, but years later, it seems that they have connected to each other out of spite for me. Here we have Stu Armstrong. He is one of the main instigators. Um, he was the person that dropped my name into several groups telling people that I was a troll and that I was a liar and amongst other things. Um, he ended up getting thousands of people to hate on me and these six men have been working together to ruin me on social media and turn people against me. Um, like I said, I've been collecting evidence to prove these people are linked to each other. And if anybody out there feels that they have been trolled uh, by these people, um, this video will probably help you answer some questions. I couldn't understand at the time, especially the women that had never met me, why they were being so vulgar. But now it all makes sense. This message on a group chat 
states a guy who is Terry Arthur, he was going to be in one of my films, um, but as he was part of Aaron Twins group, after what happened, um, the outcome wasn't meant to be. And Georgie Charlie Cray is a lady that follows the UK BK boxing. Um, Stu Armstrong here, you can see he's tagging Charlie, um, saying that I deserved to be raped. And I don't know who this David Hugh is or what that comment means there. Um, but here you can see Georgie Charlie Cray mention Clark Tribe. Now, me and Clark haven't spoken since 2017. Um, we had issues with regards to a disagreement on set and we went our separate ways. Now, I had no idea that Stu Armstrong um, was putting my name into these haters group and setting up haters pages with a man called Nab Speed. At the time, it was very confusing because, like I said, I had no idea who these people were and yet they were accusing me of being connected to this John Silver. Um, I don't know this John Silver, I've never met this John Silver. Uh, he literally contacted me after seeing all the abuse I was getting online in my videos and told me that I was right um, and that the people trolling me were connected to the UKBK boxing and also this group called the Firm Fellas. Now, what I want to get straight is I've spoken to Dave Courtney and he confirmed that the Firm Fellas is not part of his society. Um, he told me that it is a fan group of people online. Uh, some people he has met, some people he hasn't. Um, but he has nothing to do with this Firm Fellas group that was bullying me. Now, at the time, I believed that and looking into things a little bit more over the last few years, I can see that this firm fellow group were heavily using Dave Courtney's name. Um, as you can see in the video I'm going to show you next, uh, this woman does mention DC and the firm fellas. Um, she contacted me out of the blue posing as a concerned member of the public. Um, but it later on turned out she was connected to Clark Tribe. You know, some of their tactics is to muddy someone so no one believes you. I mean, earlier I've seen a, a post where they were talking to Aaron Twin. Like, I want to speak to you, Aaron. Yeah, come and speak to me, boy. Don't, don't be hiding. No one's blocked on here, bruv. Yeah, come and speak to Johnny. Yeah, let's, let's deal with this. But you're doing it public, son. Yeah, because you want to publicly embarrass or shame or or do things, or use material, including Sammy's images still, and yet you hate the girl, and yet you're using the images to make yourself look famous. Oh, fuck, bruv. And stop making allegations against Sammy. Then I had an email come through with a link to a website, and I didn't pay any attention to it. Um, I was a bit busy at the time, so the next time the same email came through with a link was two days ago, 21st of November and this time it had a private message um, from a lady called Cookie Greenwood who basically said she loved my work and she was part of a group um, or an agency that basically supported women in film um, and supported women in film to go to a higher level. So I thought, wow, this is amazing, really good opportunity. So I said, thank you, I'm a bit busy at the moment but I will take time and look through the website and get back to you. Anyway, they continued um, to tell me about how amazing um, this was and, you know, sort of couldn't really get them off the phone. And I basically looked at the um, website and saw a woman that is connected to Clark Tribe's new film, The Drug Game. Um, and I was like, whoa, like, radar, radar, this is a bit weird. Like, you know, they normally say if good things seem too good to be true, they normally are. Um, and then I see a connection with a woman that's in Clark's film, so I didn't know whether this woman was catfishing me or not, but I just basically said, look, thanks for the opportunity, but unfortunately I'll have to decline, um, as you are, or some people that within your agency are connected to some people that I can't have anything to do with. Um, and then she sent me this voice message. 
So can you tell me, just, yeah, I, I can imagine it's quite sensitive for you to talk about, um, but you've made a film of it. Have you mentioned names and stuff in, in the film? Um, yeah, if you can, just tell me tell me the names of the the men that, that done this to you, um, just so I can, you know, be vigilant and be aware. Um, and, and to what extent, I mean, did they, did they all rape you or was it just one of them and two associates or... I know it's quite hard to speak about, but I am very interested in, in what happened, babe. So I didn't really want to go all over the whole story again. Um, and like I say, my problems with Aaron Twin, uh, it's not really Clark Tribe. Yes, he did cause me some problems back in the day, but I thought we'd both sorted that out and got over it. Um, he'd moved on with his shit, I'd moved on with my stuff, but it just seems that any chance Clark Tribes had to slag me off or try to dangle things in my face, i.e. Aaron Twin, he has done. Um, and I think he's been trolling me um, along with Aaron and Stacey. Um, basically this um, woman uh, listened to what I had to say. Um, I basically sent her the link for Cyberstalks and said, look, I don't really want to go over a two year story. Um, this is basically what's happened and she went away uh, two days later she came back basically telling me that she'd contacted my rapist um, she'd contacted Aaron Twin uh, she'd spoken to Clark um, and that I was the one that was out of order and that I shouldn't be disclosing what happened to me online um, that I was unprofessional for doing that um, what the stupid cow doesn't realize um, I say cow I actually think this is Clark tribe but I'll get to that um, what this person doesn't realise is that the reason I'm doing these videos are in retaliation for what these men have done to me. So it's not me that's obsessed and is out there trying to destroy men's lives. It's because they have done something to me. Every single video I discuss is what they have sent me or what they have said to me or what they threatened me. I am not going to stand back and put up with these men contacting me on my social media trying to destroy my reputation in silence because then people will start to believe it and they will continue like they have for two years. So I am sharing every single thing that happens whether it's connected or not so that I build a case and there are people watching and they are seeing it. They are seeing the routine, they are seeing the same tactics they're seeing the gameplay and now it seems that Clark Tribe has just connected himself um, to this women in films agency um, I don't know whether I mean my suspicion is that these women um, are not involved at all um, that Clark got one person to leave one voice message uh, the rest of the messages have been in text and they're all supporting Clark um, where at start this woman said she didn't know Clark so yeah like it's just the whole temperament of the behavior and um, the things the person said uh, threatening me with Dave Courtney um, if Dave's got a problem he's got my number and he can ring me anytime he knows that so I'm not going to listen to any trolls that basically go on saying that Dave's not happy with me and Dave's going to do this and Dave's going to do that because a lot of people like to throw Dave's name around I've noticed um, these little boys that call themselves the firm fellas um, and in fact I found that Dave is actually not friends with any of them they're just people that go to his party jump in a photo and they say all right you know, so I have never said anything bad about Dave. I think he's got a few undesirables that are hanging around him and using his image um, to intimidate other people. Um, but I've never said anything about Dave. I've had to bring his name up because of Clark Tribe and the stuff Clark Tribe did and the shit Clark Tribe caused me because Clark Tribe is continually to do it. And if people don't want to be brought up with these people, then you shouldn't be hanging around them. You know, you're judged by the friends you keep. I say it all the time. So, you know, if I knew that a guy had slapped a woman, hit a woman, punched a woman, raped a woman, I wouldn't want to be hanging around that. If you don't believe it, then that's absolutely fine. That's down to you. You'll find out in your own time, um, which many people have. Um, I've had a few people come forward and talk to me about these people since doing these videos. 
Um, and it seems I'm not the only person that has had their life ruined by these characters. So I am glad I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to let them intimidate me or take my videos down. I haven't put videos um, or clip or photo footage in this because they keep reporting my videos on YouTube for either privacy issues or bullying and harassment. So it seems it's alright when they're locked in a room with you that they can bully and punch and rape. But when you speak up, all of a sudden they call it, you know, that you're bullying them, you're harassing them. Um, you know, Aaron Twin was putting out statuses in my name, uh, basically saying that I was admitting to lying. Um, he was telling people that I'd had uh, many men done for rape and domestic violence in the past. That's not true. Um, he has tried to victim shame me so much over the internet, dragging people into it that really didn't need to get involved. Um, and yet some people just have the mentality of a rapist. You know, they're, they're always going to think it was the victim's fault. Whereas I'm a strong enough woman, I'm a mother of two, and what happened to me was not right. It wasn't fair, and none of this is fair. There is no justice. You know, I'm not getting a kick out of doing any of this. I will never be the same person ever again. But I'm angry that the fact that these men are continuing to do what they're doing, um, not just, you know, they haven't just left me alone. They've continued to torment me for two years and um, getting different people involved at different times because these people believe these men's bullshit. So that's why I'm doing these videos. Um, if anybody wants to think anything otherwise, then you think whatever you want. And you know, I'm doing all I can to put a case together and prove what they are, but when they're constantly setting up different accounts, fake accounts, you know, you just have to see it as I'm not taking any threat serious anymore. You know, anyone that wants to use anyone's names, use it. Until those people come to me, then I'll talk to them, but I'm not listening to any troll or any housewife that is bored, sat at home with nothing to do because of lockdown and um, that's decided to make my life hell because you're disgusting and you know it. So, where I have been stating that my life has been ruined um, by a handful of men, Stu Armstrong, Aaron Twin, Stacey Fordham and Chris Smith, it seems that there is one to add to the pot, uh, Clark Tribe. He seems heavily connected to all of these people that were trolling me and sending me the most repulsive threats. And he later on went to cast Aaron Twin into a movie. This was at the point where I believed that Clark had more to do with the trolling. But when he found out, or said he found out, about what Aaron Twin's involvement was with what had gone on with me, um, he took a little bit of persuading, but he decided not to put Aaron Twin in his film. So I kind of thought, you know, I kind of respected him for that, and we went our separate ways. Um, but recently, I've been going back into Facebook, and it seems people have been leaving little trails. And now it's becoming more apparent who people are, and why I have so many people hating on me that have never met me. The odd comment wasn't that bad, but they really ramped it up and decided to set up a haters group. It's only now over time that I'm seeing why and who and how people are connected. This man, Nab Speed, uh, was the main instigator at the time. Um, he is dead now, so I don't really want to speak too ill of the dead. Um, but he did make my life absolute hell. Uh, he was the one that set up the hate page and told everybody that I was a troll, that he had a list of trolls that were trolling his group. Now it's all come out that it was actually a couple of actors from my film, out of revenge, set up fake accounts and told these people that I was connected to the trolling that was going on within their circle. I had no idea who Nab Speed was or any of his connections. And because this man decided to listen to a fake account um, or Stu Armstrong, Clark Tribe, uh, Aaron Twin, um, he directed thousands and thousands of haters towards me, women and men that had never met me.
And because this man, Nab Speed, was using Dave Courtney's face as a mascot, let's say, many of Dave Courtney's followers started to hate me. When I spoke to Dave and Brendan, they denied all acknowledgement of what had been going on online, as they said they didn't use the internet. But what phases me is Julie Matheru, who organises Dave's pages, she would have seen the bullying going on. And what really disgusts me is these two groups, the Firm Fellas and the UKBK, are all full of adults that get off on bullying. They are literally like kids back at the school playground. The bit that disappoints me the most is that this was all over me speaking up about a rape. And for the women involved in this trolling and catfishing and bullying online, well, there's no words for it, really. Go throw your sticks and I'm ready for ya. I'm ready.